Hey guys, Poigie here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to finish out our tutorials on crew points with expert level. At this point, you've watched previous two videos. You are distributing your crew points whenever you see your crew level turn gold. You are moving down the tech tree not too fast. You are experting all your crews and you're spreading your crew points evenly so that experting the crews is easier to do. So what's next? First off, we're going to talk about not moving down the tech tree too fast in a little more detail. So the method that I found worked best for me is essentially I would expert a vehicle and once it was experted, I would take whatever the first number is in the BR and multiply it by five and that's how many games I play. So for a tier one, one three, one seven vehicle, I would play five games in each of them. Two O's, two threes, two sevens. I'd play 10 games in each of them. Three O's, three threes, three sevens. I'd play 15 and going on and on. Essentially what that allowed me to do is whenever I went into a new game with a new vehicle, I'd already be able to expert the crew. So have enough XP built up at that point that I could go through, expert my crews and have some success. Secondly, we're gonna talk about acing crews. So typically that'll cost you golden eagles. Um, one important key to remember, and we're going to take a look at our thatches here. You just go to the qualification tab, same place you would go to expert your crews. Right now, it would cost us 40 golden eagles to ace the thatches F2A. If we take a look at some of the milestones outlined below, we currently have 90,000 RP. If we were to reach 110,000 RP, then that price would drop in half to 20 golden eagles. Milestone after that is 165,000 RP where the price drops to 10 golden eagles. And if we get all the way to the third milestone, then 220,000 RP, then basically we're going to get that ACE qualification for free. So you don't necessarily have to spend golden eagles, but you would have to use that same crew in that same slot quite a bit to be able to get it for free. On one of my previous accounts, I was flying the P63A10 quite a bit. We're doing a lot of 4.0 Air Arcade and I ended up getting an expert crew. Now that P63 has a 37 mil on it that I believe started out with a 60 second reload. With an ACE crew, I had it all the way down to 30 seconds. So huge difference in my ability to be effective in the game. Half the reload time um, made it a lot easier. So definitely worth trying to do. If you really love a vehicle, go ahead and spend the time to get that thing aced. Now let's talk about options for getting crew points faster. So there's an option here for accelerated training. If we do that, you'd have to spend a thousand golden eagles, roughly five bucks US, you get 17,500 crew points. Seems pretty good, definitely gives you a good start going into the game, um, but there is a better way to spend those golden eagles to get the crew points, and that is purchasing premium aircraft or tanks. Premium vehicles are gonna give you added RP. So you get basically twice as much RP as you would for a regular vehicle when you're playing premiums. And some of these premiums are relatively inexpensive compared to the thousand golden eagles you'd spend to get the 17,500 crew points. My suggestion is if you wanna really bump up your crew points in a slot, use that thousand instead to buy, you know, maybe a 200 golden eagle costing uh, premium or you know you can go above that if you want but basically just play those premium vehicles in the slot and you're going to get those crew points much much faster another thing to consider is when you're spading vehicles you want to put them in the crew slot that has the most crew points so you want every advantage you can have you know when you start off you can't even repair your vehicle if it catches on fire you're done unless somebody comes to help you these days um, and you don't have typically the best ammunition for it or the most uh, survivability. So great thing to do is just to continue to use, I use that first crew slot for whenever I'm going to spade a vehicle, something that's unspaded, um, I work on it there first. So the crew points kind of help to offset the disadvantages you have from having an unspaded vehicle. Last but not least, you can focus on types of vehicles you're good at. So for me, I prefer to use, let's go to Germany, you can see it well. So we're gonna take a look at my German tech tree. This is gonna show you that essentially my focus has been and what I prefer are light, medium, and heavy tanks. I'm not a fan of tank destroyers. Barely any of these are spaded. If they are, it was by accident. 
Um, but what this allows me to do is I think right now I've spaded basically through 5.7 it looks like um, for heavy vehicles and medium tanks, etc. So at this point, if I do decide that I want to try out tank destroyers, I can go back and work on spading these 1.3s and 2.3s with a significantly higher amount of crew points than if I'd done them back when I was at 2.3 or 1.3. This is going to allow me to go back and offset my lack of skill with these vehicles with additional crew points. So it'll be more survivable, reload faster, etc., which will give me a better chance at doing well at the game. And that wraps up crew points, guys. So if you like the video, if you like the series, please like, please hit subscribe. We're going to be doing more of these on a weekly basis. Um, again, anything I miss, please put it in the comments below so that I can update these videos and let me know what you want to see next. We've got a lot of different concepts in the game, a lot of things we could look into and uh, basically want to do what you guys are interested in. So let me know. All right. Thanks, guys. Catch you in the next one.